I've talked on and off about doing movie reactions as a dedicated slot on the channel for quite a long time now, and a few mods, a few OG OG mods and members of the Dapper Discord in particular have been recommending this movie for years for me. So the fact that I'm finally able to do it and start off this movie segment on the channel feels fantastic and I'm very excited to do it. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with another reaction. This time, like I said, we're starting movies. Hopefully we can do once a week, preferably edited and uploaded on Sunday. Um, I'll probably, I don't know when I'm gonna react to it on the set schedule or when all that will be set and schedule, when, when all that will be set and put to a concrete time. But for now, we're hopefully gonna get one movie a week. We're starting it off with a banger, No Game, No Life Zero. It has been years since I watched No Game, No Life. I have been told I really didn't need to rewatch it for the movie. I did watch a couple of videos in preparation just so I can at least get myself back in that No Game, No Life mindset and vibe. So I am excited for the music, obviously, the color scheme, the amazing animation. I know this is a prequel, I know nothing else about it in terms of context, so without further ado, I am very excited to watch this. If you guys would like to watch this live with me or any of the movies I watch this live in the future, come over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius. It is a fantastic vibe, fantastic community. You guys can also check out the Patreon for full length as well, early access to the movies and to the other shows I'm watching. Make sure to follow all the other social medias, Twi TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Let's hop right on into this. No game, no life, zero. The movie. This is crazy. Let's do this. Was that Bell from Don Machi? What is going on? I love how every this game, this show and movie, this world is so game. So so much about games, you know. Is that? Tet against the best there is. I don't remember anything like this in No Game No Life. This is like some reincarnated as a slime Veldora type dragonry. What is going on? Holy shit, she looks badass. I need to know the context of who that kid was, why that dragon attacked, who that lady was, what is going on. This definitely is the game world. I love the huge chess pieces in the horizon. Elkia, this is bringing back vibes. I love the colors. That's not the same beast girl who we beat at the end, right? Izuna is was her name? Within the virtual reality like game where we were shooting and shit, that was... Wait, so this is modern time. Ted's gonna tell her the story? That's what we're gonna get this prequel? Cause it's a... I love the... 6,000 years. I love the look of those chess pieces. I really do. A bitter war raged. Savaging the earth and extinguishing planets. Okay, title card. With the zero in there. Okay, title card. Who else is hyped for this? We back to Bell from Don Machi? Have to be, look at him. It looks like he's exploring. <laughs> and he was, he is willing to just throw down his life on an order like that? What in the flying fuck is this? Meanwhile, Riku and Ale got out. Barely. R.I.P. Ivan. I gotta give it up to any man who's willing to lay down his life so his brother can his brothers can go on, man. That earned some respect from me off rip. Even though this is a horrible aesthetic that they live in, like a horrible scenario, I really love this aesthetic from a visual point of view, you know. The ruins of the elves' old capital city. Really pretty, too. Yeah, so it was something, bro. Because I'm seeing something move like that twinkle in the background. That's what I'm saying. Am I imagining things? I don't even know. Yeah, 
an ex machina is that like like the same species of the girl we saw at the beginning operate as part of a group they have a shared consciousness huh This is an interesting race, the Machina, the Ex Machina. All the people who have died. That is, and he knows all the names off the top of his head. Wow. That's a lot of people. 48 people. That's insane. My man's mad at himself, most of all, and I feel him. Being a leader with that much responsibility and pressure to have to make those calls is horrible. And it would tear you apart. I feel it. Damn, look at that winged blade. That looks insane. She's got that thing on deck. She's ready to play. She wants to understand the heart. Let's make you smile. Let's see if we can bring you any happiness, you know. That's that's her reasoning. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> that's like gone. He just overexerts himself. This is not the relationship or the scenario that I would have assumed from this movie at all though we'd have a robotic seemingly adopted sister trying to understand the heart and her race or one of the war wagers going oh this is crazy not at all what i was expecting pawn to e4 already starting to gather some clues that's not hair that's like tensile string that's insane <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, you are like a cal a literal calculator. There definitely is a way you can win. I just don't know if you'll be able to. I mean, I hope so. That's insane. What? That? The Ash Storm? Oh my, oh my god. Well, I appreciate that. And we have a nice, I don't know what to call her. Si All right, we lost. A nice sidekick. What would we call her? Adoptive sister? I don't know. That's hilarious. She has to win. But I like their dynamic. I just was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting this story to be about a human. Like, I thought it'd be about the gods. We'd see the, I don't know. Or Machina? This is so interesting. It is very pretty, the shot. And this is the info. And let's get some info about Tell Me, and I want to know how we can stop this war. It's quite the map. Quite the piece right there. Is that our home base? What is that? We're back to the dragons. I was going to say dragon at the beginning. See, this is more what I was expecting. I love this kind of like redness. This like, like I said, post-apocalyptic vibe to just the world in general. Oh, shit is hitting the fan. It's definitely a tough pill to swallow, you know? That's... She knows how much pressure and responsibility is on him being the leader of the squad, you know? Huh? Oh, so we're leaving the squad. We're gonna go deal with the war. Riku and Shui. And she knows, I think. 
But she but she has faith in them. What are you two cooking up? Artosh. Kainas. Okane. Is that so? The gods and creators of these races are actually fighting in and of themselves as well for the throne? I had no idea. Are we listing the. Wait, is he literally inventing the commandments right now? Or. No, these are like her own commandments. Okay, I like it. Now we do what we want. For the ghosts. See, that's crazy. They're not going to kill a single member of another race. I mean, I get it. Especially after living the life they lived as well. I mean, I'd be kind of down. Ooh. Look at that shot. Get this game started. Now, I'm so curious how we're going to do this. That's my only question, you know? What is that, a proposal? Not what I was expecting in the slightest? Cannot comprehend decline. He is like Bell to a certain extent. That's hilarious. Wait, why is she getting a memory from the Machina's point of view from baby Riku? <laughs> they reflected the attack from the dragon at them towards Riku's crib? That sucks. That specifically was her. Wow. Talk about being a mature man. Doesn't matter what race you are. It is one way to look at it. I mean, he is saying that kind of facts, you know. You do have to eventually just accept it and move on, you know. That was cute. That's adorable. Talk about understanding the heart, right? Let me be by your side forever and ever. It defies all logic, but that's what the heart, that's what love is. That was adorable. But hey. Shouts out to Riku and Shui. We're having an official wedding as well with Corona as the pastor. Hopefully we do remain as ghosts and can... And she knew as well. Obviously Corona doesn't care. But I don't know. I'm just nervous about the, about the future. Hmm. That is adorable. Shouts out to Big Sis Corone. She's the kind of Big Sis you want, you know? <laughs> That's so weird. I love it. Nina Clive. Mmm, that piqued your interest. The one they're warning the we the war beast of the E bomb. I mean, they he said it could kill a Deus X, right? A, an old Deus, which is like the number one race, the E bomb. Is that this war comes to an end? I like that answer. That's a valid answer. 
Me of all people. That's that's intimidating. Especially with her immaculate titties right there. And then Neil Val There's definitely been some prominent elves in the uh in the first season of No Game No Life, so I wanna go back and see if there's any connections there, you know? Breathing black ash for two hours. We had to put on a face that whole time up front. The elves became allies with the fairies and ramped up their contracts with Dragonia to fend off the Dwarven fleet. This war is actually insane. Oh, that looks like an Elden Ring like area. That looks like crazy. We lost our left arm because of the ash? That's what I was saying at the very beginning. It looked like the outline of Tet. And currently, in terms of Inuza and our main time, Tet is the one telling the story, right? Especially from coming from a big sister, you know, what are you willing to sacrifice? I get it. I get it. But it's like, it's hard, you know? Ah, I could see why they would think that. Especially after just playing Elden Ring, you know? All the demigods in there, damn, damn near doing the same thing. And how would that be? Oh, okay. It's a fair plan. Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely insane. But when are his plans not insane, you know? Stalling 32 to let us. Oh. And we have what, half of them done? Yeah, over. We're getting there. Just nine left. Now, see, that would be a miracle if we can actually make this work. That's what's crazy about it. God, I mean, I fuck with Karun. She's a great big sister, you know? Very worried, very willing to help out, do whatever. Very active. I am very worried about Riku. It doesn't seem like he's going to make it much longer. I don't know if I like these vibes. I don't, I mean, this gives me a certain episode of Hunter Hunter vibes, you know? My man Riku better make it at least through this... At least through this night. This better not be the end of Riku. So she is setting them up on her own. That's what, I hope so. The world will be rebuilt. Oh, Flugel is not good right now. Her black scythe versus Shui looks super dope. Ooh, with the tensile, with the cutting, ooh! I am shook right now. This fight is goddamn insane. Shui is holding her own, but and actually being amazing. But goddamn, she is so strong. Man, this is rough with the ring and everything. Riku's like. Damn near dying, Shui's damn near dying. She was trying to reconnect to the cluster, but he refused. She disputed. Okay, so the cluster did end up reconnecting. But she didn't want to actually share those, you know? 
But she's just doing anything, literally worse, anything she can right now to prevent her and Riku from dying. This is deemed valuable data since then because she is anomaly. You have to survive 251 seconds? Almost five minutes? Four minutes? Jibril is handing out L's like this? I miss you, Jibril. Why are you not? The loading bar is almost done. That was a nice snipe. I cannot believe we're going against Jibril right now. Oh my goodness. Uh, huh. And she was able to actually get it off? Man. She may have lost the battle, but... I guess this is R.I.P. to Shui, you know? This The cluster is crying because of the synchronization, man. That's sad. That is sad. I can't lie. And that little, like, last thing she did was to protect the ring, you know? God damn. Jabril's over 6,000 years. Oh, man, that's sad. <laughs> R.I.P. Shui. Nothing else I can say. That was the last request. The rest is up to you to bring that back. That is horribly sad, man. Okay. We got the Machina's help, thanks to Shui. I shall aid you in- He looks badass as all hell, but... Shui was a legend, man, even even in her death, you know? This is literally insane. What the fuck? This is what we're going to use to drill right into the middle of the planet. I literally don't even know what to think anymore at this point. I'm literally just lost for words. This is literally insane. Is that the conceptual device? The sunny Easter. There it is. Oh my god, bro. It's like the Big Bang. Like the. I mean, the world is gonna be rebuilt, right? You can't even grab. Tell us we at least meant something, bro. What is this movie? Is this Tet? Our invisible compatriot the entire time? Me and Shui together. I am so... Bewildered, I think is the only term I can use. And the entire time Tet was telling the story to Izuna. This is crazy. This is the no game, no life world we know, you know? Talk about a difference. Holy shit. Dola? <laughs> so she. So they're. 
So they're the ancient, like, uh, Elkian ancestors of Stephanie. Holy shit. Okay, Stephanie doll. Okay, I mean, it makes sense. Their hair is very similar, but goddamn, small world. <laughs> She's, like, crying during it. Talk about the two goats. <laughs> Especially Steph being like the... <laughs> They're, that's so crazy, man. We need No Game No Life Season 2. We definitely do need it. With that same stone, too. Does it have their names on the back? It does. God damn, that is amazing. And that's Jabril Swell, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. I really like how this movie came full circle, you know? Sheesh! And now we got Sora and Shiro. And Stephanie is in a Jabril. We got a new squad. We, we need a season two, come on, man. I mean, I gotta give it a round of applause, you know? I think I deserved it. I literally waited years for that, you know? That was crazy. Well, for the not only the culmination of waiting for something for years because this feels super built up because i watched no game no life years ago and with that being the thing that so many close people in this community have been recommending to me for years plus the start of me doing movies like as a consistent thing on the channel this fit the bill amazingly this hit every mark whether it comes to uh comedy crazy world building crazy despair amazing action amazing wholesomeness the feels moments you know this movie i can totally tell why it's up there for a lot of people's favorite movies or they're like their top three top five you know it was fantastic and a great start into this entry for me watching anime movies i love the amount of story that they can tell with such a fantastic budget that they have the animation and everything during the final fight everything with shui now i was not expecting that story at all that we got for it to be like a love story for two separate races, one trying to discover the human heart, one trying to figure out their purpose in life, meanwhile survive and end this for this. Actually crazy. It was so, so, so very different from No Game No Life, yet wrapped up and tied into it beautifully. Like there were multiple parts that, you know, wrapped up and you, you know, you needed to have watched No Game No Life for, but it's like a good prequel will do that. Like a great pre prequel will enhance the thing it comes before, but also give context clues to the thing before that, which you had no idea. It's it's so well done. So well done. Um, overall, fantastic movie. If you guys have any recommendations for any movies you guys want me to do next, um, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'm going to be having polls, so that's what's going to inform me on what to put on the poll so you guys can vote for the movie. Thank you so much for the support that's been going on, on on Twitch and everything over here. You guys have been supporting immensely, as you guys can see with these subs just going on like crazy. You guys can come over here, twitch.tv slash DapperDarius, to watch live with us. Fantastic vibes, fantastic community. Um, don't forget to let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Fantastic movie. Peace.